Dennis with Wise Auto Tools. One of my previous articles I spoke about using a pushrod tool like this, which this is a Lyle 48300, to, um, to pivot the rocker arm to be able to pull, pull the push rods out when changing the gaskets on GM 2.8, 3.1, and 3.4 engines. Now one of the reasons that I suggested using this tool is because it does save a lot of time. Uh, you don't necessarily have to pull the rear valve cover on these engines to be able to slip this tool in and pull the push rods out when you're doing just the gaskets for the intake. Uh, another reason for using this tool though is to eliminate some of the wear that is caused on the aluminum threads when you're removing these uh, bolts for the rocker arms. Uh, there's a lot of tension on those. There's only one bolt that holds the, each rocker arm on and when you remove them and you thread them back in, especially if the job has been done several times, the aluminum can get worn and you can have a, a failure there and the bolt can pull out um, leaving the rocker arm uh, to, to fall off to the side. Um, so it, it's not uncommon for these threads to fail so that's why I recommend using this uh, rocker arm tool even if you're going to pull a rear valve cover um, you're going to want to use that just to help eliminate the wear on those threads. Now if you've already um, have a car that has failed threads then um, you know, all's not lost. We do have the um, 1812 core which is a time cert kit and I don't recommend using helicoil because um, the helicoil is just a thin coil of wire and it can fail due to all the stress on that bolt but the uh, time cert is a thick bushing type insert it's a solid insert and that's going to do a much better job of holding up to the stress that that bolt has on it. Um, now if you've already had a, um, a repair done on that before or it came in the shop and it had a Healy coil that had been done on it previously and the rock arms laying off to the side and you got a misfire. Um, well if you see that it's had the Healy coil put in it before then you're not going to want to use the 1812 core just the regular size what you're going to want to use is the Big Cert. The Big Cert kit is uh, basically the same as the 1812 core, but the 1812 core BS, which is the Big Cert, is a larger diameter uh, outside on the inserts. And it takes the same bolt, and uh, important to let you know too that these kits are for the uh, most common size bolt for the rocker arms for the GM. 2.8, 3.1, and 3.4s, which is the 8 millimeter. Now, if you have a 10 millimeter, because they did start using, uh, I guess they recognized that that little 8 millimeter bolt <clears throat> wasn't quite strong enough, so they started using a 10 millimeter. Um, we have the 1015 core that can be used as well if you have the 10 millimeter bolt. Um, they still do fail, even though they upsize the uh, bolt a little bit. They do have the problem still. Uh, primarily because it's going into an aluminum head. So keep that in mind if you run across that. We have the um, time cert kits for the 8mm or the 10mm uh, for the GM vehicles if you have a rocker arm bolt uh, threads failed in the head. Mm -hmm.